thinking about her. I do something. Wait a minute. That's it. Why haven't I thought of that before? I know the one person who can help me get Sheridan Crane out of my mind for good. I don't believe you're gawling me. One night. That is all I'm asking for. My wife is in the kitchen. In the next room. After one night of bliss. If you still want to be with Grace, I will understand anyway. I won't bother you, but I can't imagine that after one night of passion with me, you never want to leave my bed again. That will never happen. Remember how we used to be, Sam? Hot. How incredible. Come on, Sam. It's a deal. Ivy. I know how upset you are right now, Chad. Oh, wouldn't you be if you found out that your father wouldn't marry your mother because she was black? I mean, how do you think it feels to be the son of a racist? You know, he probably just led her on. <laughs> got her to fall for him, got her pregnant. And then forget about his family. Now, he refused to marry her because she was black. Makes me sick. I know how hard it must be to... I swear to you, he's gonna pay. Whitney, I swear to you, he's gonna pay. Sorry, it didn't, didn't work out the way you wanted to, Sam. It's not your fault. Nothing went the way we thought it would tonight. Not for me, or for Teresa. Well, what do you mean? Well, hearing all this stuff about my mother isn't exactly the news I was looking for. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and as far as I could see, it sure didn't look like Teresa got Ethan to realize his feelings for her. Man, I forgot. What? You know what? I need to go talk to Teresa before. Before what? She gets into Ethan's bed. Are you all right in there? Do something. What? You can't find us in here. Storm him. Eve, what's going on? Uh, everything's fine. I'm all right, honey. Well, you don't sound like you're all right. If there's something wrong... I have to do something. I'm thinking. I guess will kill me if he finds you in here. How could it just... Eve, I'm coming in. No! Oh, hell, Carl. Stand clear of the door. Tell me you from blood, you little... Why is this all... about what you did to my friend. Oh, this is worse than a nightmare. 
if it were a turd and not a ticking time bomb. Oh, when TC breaks out the door, I'm gonna lose everything I love. But at least I'll still be alive, and that's more than I can say for you. Hold on, Ethan's bed? What do you mean? Well, it's Teresa's latest scheme. She's gonna sneak into the Crane Mansion and slip into bed with Ethan to surprise him. <laughs> Damn. Girl's got some mad husband, boy. Chad, she's crazy. No, no, she's just a girl who knows what she wants and goes after it no matter what. No, she's setting herself up to get hurt again, big time. You know, why you gotta be such a pessimist all the time? I'm a realist, Chad. I know my limits. And Teresa, she's just clueless, okay? I've been telling her for over a year now, and she still won't listen to me. And now she thinks that Ethan was aroused when they were dancing together tonight, so... Well, didn't exactly look like he was bored. I, in fact, it looked like he was about to lose his mind. That's exactly what I'm talking about, Chad. Teresa just thinks, oh, I will crawl into bed with him and we will cuddle? Like she would even be able to hold him back or anything like that. No way. What, you don't think so? It was me. And I was dancing with a beautiful woman all night long like that. Fantasizing about her. No way I could hold back. Not for a minute. Be a man on a mission. Nothing. wonderful woman in the world. The woman I love more than life itself. Take a look. Do you see yourself in that picture? Do you see yourself in that picture? No. That's right. You are not my wife, and you're not my lover, and you're not even a friend. You know, I have been nice to you, but it doesn't work being nice to you because you walk all over people who are nice to you. So now it's time that you understood that I want nothing to do with you ever. Grace is the woman I love. You used to tell me I would love you remember that, Sam. I want you out of my house. If I know how I'll always be suspicious, how will you explain my disappearance? I'll manage. Sam, I know you still want me. You're just feeling trapped. Get out. No, I can help you. I can help you out of this I trap. will give you three seconds. Sam, we two, can all be together. We can work this one. out. I love you. you. Love? You don't know the first thing about love. You don't know what you've been missing. Oh, you know, I would love to smack some sense into you. God, I really would. But you won't do that, Sam. Because you're too much of a gentleman. Oh, yeah? Well, if you don't back off, I'm going to forget about being a gentleman. Now, I want you out of my life, and I want you out of my family's life for good. What is going on? Uh, Sam, what are you uh, doing? You're uh, manhandling her. Grace, we were, uh... What? We were just thinking of events for the 4th of July celebration. That's it. You were thinking of doing a play. A, 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 a play? Yeah, we were going to do the, um... Virginia Woolf. Virginia Woolf and one thing just led to another. <laughs> yeah, we, yeah, we were working on scenes together and, uh, you know, trying to feel out what was right for the celebration. Virginia Woolf. I mean, don't you think that's a little bleak for Independence Day? I mean, besides, I've never been a fan of that play. I, I didn't like seeing a man treat a woman that way. Exactly what I said. And so we were looking for something a little more... Uh, upbeat. Upbeat. Upbeat for a family celebration. <laughs> Well, 
wow, you, you two really had me going. <laughs> Fooled me. So, so I, I really thought you were, were mad at her. <laughs> So why didn't I know about this hidden talent of yours? Well, I don't really think you can call it a talent. Oh, come on. Now, and what other secrets are you keeping from me? Oh, well, men are so mysterious, aren't they? Yes, all full of surprises. <laughs> well, anyway, um, here's catalogs for 4th of July. Just a couple of them. There's some more around, but I figured we could start with these. Oh, great. Yeah. Oh, uh, uh, Okay. Grace. Mrs. Crane. Can I talk to you alone for a minute? Yeah, sure. Um, let's go outside. I won't have him for just a moment, huh? Okay. What's up? I need your help, Sam. Sure. With what? I had a run in with Julian Crane. What kind of a run-in? Well, he... He saw me talking to Sheriff. Luis, you and Julian made a deal. I know. He I know. dropped the kidnapping charges against you in exchange for you staying away from Sheridan, right? Right. But I didn't plan on running into her. It was, you know, it, it wasn't supposed to happen. I, what was I supposed to do? Walk the other way. Luis, you were playing with fire. I want you to know that. Julian Crane is a very powerful man. He would destroy your career as a cop in a heartbeat. Now stick to the deal. I can. I will. I, I know. That was stupid of me. You know, I... I want to see Sheridan again. I'll make sure of that. God, good. Look, Sam, but the, the, the thing I can't control is my mind. I don't know what to do. I can't stop thinking about her. I mean, Sam, I don't know what to do. There is one thing that might help. What? I'm thinking I'll just, I'll just go away. You know, get out of town for a couple of days, maybe a week. Just get away from here. Oh, what good is that going to do? I don't know, you know, maybe if I, if I stop seeing the places that Sheridan and I went, bumping into those things that remind me of her, maybe, maybe I'll stop thinking of her. It's impossible to run away from the cranes. The cranes are like an incurable disease. I mean, once you get involved with them, they're always in your life. But sometimes a, a disease lays dormant for a while. I mean, but you know it's always there, ready to strike. And when it does, you gotta fight like hell to not let it destroy your life. Sounds like you know what you're talking about. The cranes destroy everything they come in contact with. Now, cutting and running is not the answer. Nothing is. Now, I don't know if you're talking about me or yourself. No, I can't. It's not right. What do you mean it's not right? Gwen? Uh, you seem so surprised to see me. Well, yes. I, I... What's going on here, and what do you mean this isn't right? Just a few more minutes. Just to make sure he can sound asleep. And then I'll slip into bed right next to him. When he realizes I'm there, sees how good I feel in his arms, he won't be able to deny his feelings any longer. You know, this is... This is bad. This is so bad. Okay, let's not go overboard. Well, I'm worried about her, Chad. She's gonna get hurt. Teresa is fine with me. She's just got guts, that's all. Yeah. She's taking matters into her own hands. Something we all gotta do sometimes. But what if something happens? Something's gonna happen. And how do you know this? Look, you told me Teresa said she's saving herself for her wedding night, yeah, right? Yeah, of course she So is. then that's how it's gonna be. If she says that she ain't gonna sleep with Ethan before they get married, then she won't. And Ethan's a stand-up guy. He'll honor that. What, he's gonna force himself on him? I don't think so. Yeah, you're right. You're right. Ethan, Ethan's a great guy. He, he wouldn't do anything like that, right? No, no way. 
I still think Teresa's gonna get her heart broken big time tonight. I just know it. You ever think that thing is gonna work out for the best? Well, what do you think Ethan's gonna do when he realizes Teresa's in his bed? He's gonna totally freak out. Look, we just went over this. It's gonna be fine. Ethan's not that kind of guy. No, I bet you my father. I bet you my father isn't half the guy, isn't half the man that Ethan is. Nah, my father's a racist and a coward. Got my mother pregnant, just left her in the dust. You know, I wonder where my father is right now. I wonder what he's doing. Probably off somewhere, doing what he does best. He's taking advantage of people. Ruining someone else's life. God, this is not good. You've got to find a way to get out of here. Uh, e, what's going on? No way out. I can't take it anymore. I'm going to open the door. We just have to deal with it. I am not about to deal with my getting killed. Thank you very much. So you could just let that back. Well, if you hadn't come into the ladies' room, none of this would be happening. In fact, if you had just kept your hands off me all those years ago, and if you hadn't lied to me and you moved me, then none of us would have to deal with any of this. What? Was I the only one involved? It takes two to touch her, honey. I don't remember your objecting to the trips to Bermuda, the earrings from Tiffany. None of that mattered to me. Yes, and I do hope you're not forgetting that other certain little immunity you couldn't seem to get enough of. Don't you talk to me about that, Julian. Don't you dare. None of that matters anymore. The only thing that matters is that I'm about to lose my life and everything that's important to me. And I don't care anymore because I just want it over with. Okay, I'm, I'm opening the door. You can't do it. Uh, watch me. Eve, are you all right? about this, Ethan. Well, I... I guess I should tell you. Yes, you should. He says, I don't know how to phrase this. Well, how about truthfully? Okay. See... Oh, I know what it is. You do? I know why you said this isn't right. What? Well, of course. I mean, Ethan, you had it in your mind that we wouldn't get the chance to sleep together again until our wedding night. Right. Yeah, of course. And with me being gone so long, you must have thought that we wouldn't have the opportunity exactly. again until then. Exactly. Well, that's very sweet. But... You think we can make an exception just for tonight? I mean, I've been gone such a long time and I flew here just to surprise you. Uh, you did. <laughs> so what do you say we only refrain from lovemaking the night before our wedding? I believe I can live with that. <laughs> What are, you, what are you thinking about? Oh, nothing. I just want you to know how much I love you. I know how much you love me. I want to show you that you're the only woman in the world for me. Madam Sheridan?
the details of what made you feel that way. Come on, do you mind telling me? And maybe it'll help me deal with this whole sharing situation. Oh, you know, I missed this issue. Oh, well, please, borrow it if you like. There's an article in there that, that really affected me. Which one? Well, it's a story of a woman whose husband left her after 20 years of marriage. Seems he wanted to rekindle the fires of an old flame. Really? Mm. That's quite inspiring, actually. You see, naturally the wife was, was heartbroken, but she managed to get on with her life. Well, good for her. I don't think I could be that strong, though. I don't know what I would do if Sam ever left me for another woman. Then I just can't imagine somebody throwing away 20 years of marriage for you know, something out of the past. So, well, I, I, I agree marriage is sacred, but perhaps the woman felt she had a, a claim on the man. No, no, I disagree. Marriage is marriage. Marriage is a sacrament. Well, Grace, you know... Some women don't play by the rules. And they'll do whatever it takes to win back the man they want. The, the only thing I can tell you is the cranes are pure poison. The only thing to do is to stay as far away from them as possible. Right. Well, that's why I was thinking about getting out of town for a few days. But after listening to what you've said, I'm not so sure that that's the best idea. I can't run from this. You shouldn't. I gotta face this head on. Okay, so it's gonna be tough, you know? Putting Sheridan out of my mind, but I can do it, right? Huh? Stay busy. Keep your mind on other things. All right. Hey, thanks a lot, Chief. No problem. I appreciate it. No problem. See you in the morning. Early. What's going on? Nothing, Sam. We were just talking. About what? <laughs> I don't ever want to lose you. <sighs> Wait a minute. Calm down, Teresa. You can't go in there like this. Isn't gonna help anything, Chad. What's there to help, huh? I mean, my father was a bigot who didn't care about nobody but himself. You don't know the whole story. Do I know enough? So you're just gonna blame everything on your father? What? Because that's what it sounds like you're doing, Chad. No, you're right. It's not all his fault. I mean, how can my mother get herself involved with a racist in the first place? Damn, I just want answers. I, I want the whole story, because right now, I don't think I can respect either of my parents. We're going to find out the whole story, Chad, I promise. You know something? Before I found out all this stuff, 
I used to wonder what it would be like if my parents knew your parents and how it might make a difference in how your parents saw me. How they felt about me being with, with one of their daughters. And now, now I know they wouldn't know each other. How do you know? Because your family is stable. They're secure. There's no way your parents would have anything to do with people like my mother and my father. What's going on? Why did you lock yourself in, Eve? I... Maybe you had me worried half to death. I'm sorry, TC. Sweetheart, I'm sorry, too. You know, I seemed pretty angry before, but I was scared half to death. I thought maybe you fainted again. I didn't know what to do. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to scare you. I just needed some privacy. Just so upset, you know, about Simone being at the club. Lying to us about it. Sweetheart, Simone's gonna be okay. She's a good kid. She's a teenager. She wants to do what they all do. Try to be older than what they are. Yeah, I suppose you're right. Something else is bothering you. You're not telling me about it. Me? Come on, baby. Remember what we said? No secrets between us. Oh, I don't... I want to know what's happening now. It's nothing. Come on, baby. You have been running around here all week long tense. I keep hoping and waiting that you open up to me and tell me what the hell is happening, but you, you're so closed off. You're right. I, I should tell you the truth. You have a right to know. I'll tell you everything. You deserve to know the truth. The truth is... Wait. I think I know what's bothering you. You do? You're still upset about Charlotte, right? Charlotte? Maybe you're patient. The girl who had a baby and gave it up for adoption? You've been taking care of her at the hospital. Now, I know all of this has to have some effect on you, right? And it's been bothering you all this time because you don't want to download your, your stress on me. Now, sweetheart, you are connecting what happened to Charlotte by Simone lying to you. Simone. Come on, honey. Just because Simone lied doesn't mean she's going to become pregnant. But sweetheart, I know you pride yourself on not bringing your work home with you. But I need to know you can depend on me. Anytime. I do. You see, I do. Because, baby, you know how much I love you and you know how much you mean to me. We could get out of the bathroom now. <laughs> well, I think that's a great idea. <sighs> Baby, I'm so glad we talked. Now, do you think we can enjoy the rest of our evening out? Well, I do know that I'm going to try. <laughs> that I promise. All right. about what you did to my friend. Crystal, to talk to her, tell her to keep her mouth shut. I'll find a way to shut it for her. Chad, don't you think you're being a little hard on them? Oh, hell no. Maybe you shouldn't judge them so quickly. You have no idea what you're talking about, right? No idea! Wait. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I, I, I don't mean to take all this out on you. No, no. It's okay. No, it's, it's not. It's just... It's just it's this whole situation. It's just getting to me. You know, this, this idea of my, my father being some kind of racist? And okay, I'll admit, I had my hopes up, all right? You know, just, just wondering... What it might be like if my, my parents did know your parents. I just thought, I just thought maybe I'd have a home, a place to 
go. to expect anything. I learned a long time ago not to do that. Because if you don't expect anything, you can't ever get disappointed. Right? Why would you think that you're going to lose me, Grace? What were you two talking about? No, no, it wasn't anything that Ivy said. It was just... This is an article that I read about a man who uh, left his wife for a woman he was in love with 20 years before. And I was just thinking that I didn't know what I'd do if I ever lost you, Sam. Let me tell you something. You'll never lose me, Grace. Sam's right. We gotta get away from the cranes. They're poison. And I've always known that. But how am I supposed to get Sheridan out of my mind? Damn. What do I have to do to stop thinking about her? Get to you like that? I know. I mean, I just think part of why it affected me so much is because since I don't know my first 20 years of my life, you really don't talk about yours because you don't want to upset me. So how would I know that, you know, somebody might resurface? Somebody who after 20 years might come along and decide to take you away from me? That's not going to happen. I will never leave you, Grace. No one from my past that means anything to me. All the women in my past pale in comparison to you. They mean nothing. Hello? No, I've been looking for you. There's something important that I've got to tell you. It out. I need some answers. Well, where are you going? Talk to Crystal again. See what else she knows. Maybe my father's name. I'm gonna try to nail down who he is. When I find out where that racist bastard lives. What, Chad? Well, I'm gonna land on Daddy's doorstep and let him know that some things just don't disappear. Sometimes it's a price to pay, and you better damn well believe that I'm gonna come to collect. Is this the only lotion you have? Take a lotion, come to bed. This is exactly what I was thinking. 